Hello, collective. Welcome to your reading. All right. Um, this is a general reading. This is a collective reading as well. So note all signs. All right. And this is general. So everything is not going to resonate for everyone. Please only take what is for you and what applies to your situation. Leave the rest for someone else. Okay. Also, feel free to switch the energies as needed. Make sure you guys know how this goes. Um, if I say masculine, feminine, and whatever, you know, just feel free to switch them as needed unless, you know, I say something specific. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna ding my little bowl, my bell here, clear the energy, say my prayer, and then we're going to start, okay? One more. Number 10, okay, so some of you could have a cycle ending or beginning a new cycle. Something could be coming to a close for some of you. All right, what else, Spirit? Oh, that's a lot of cards. What else, Spirit? What else for the collection? I'm going to try to take three cards. What are the messages, please, Spirit? What are the messages? I don't know, that one's poking out. Wants to come out. Mmm. Caught in the room. Okay. What else here? That one. Okay. No keys. Alright, I feel like I need one more. One more. Wow. One more. One more, please. I do not know what all three of them One more, please, there. Just one. Just one. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I just need one. All I need is one shot. <laughs> one card, please. One card, please. I don't know what's going on here, but one card, please. Maybe two? This one? Okay, I'm gonna take this one up in the air. Alright. So let's see. So just so you guys know, I just, I'm still getting familiar with these cards. <laughs> so bear with me. If the messages seem to be coming out a little slow, bear with me. Okay? I will get there. 
Please have patience. Okay. But I do want to say that for some of you, I feel like the divine is coming spirit, the divine, your angels, something, someone, okay, the higher power is calling you, is knocking at your door with this light of the world card here, okay, like literally knocking on your door, I don't know, I'm sorry if my camera sucks, y'all, let's see, um, yeah, it normally gets clearer than this. You know what? I think I know what to do. Hold on, hold on. Mm. I can't even flip the camera. Can I flip it? Oh, it's still recording. <laughs> My bad, y'all. I was going to try to flip it, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, um... But yeah, I feel like like the, the divine, your, your guardian angels, you know, like literally knocking on your door. Okay. But I feel like you, uh, maybe you guys are, yeah, I'm, I'm getting very eight of swords trapped energy here. Maybe you guys are like. Somebody's closed off. Somebody's not answering the call. Somebody's not answering the door. Okay. Um, somebody could be like resisting an awakening here or something like that. I don't know. But I'm getting very Eight of Swords energy right here, like stuck and trapped because they're caught behind this gate or they're, they're so called. They look like they're caught behind this gate or in this um, opening. But I mean, I don't know. Like, the top is open, you know what I'm saying? So it's like they could get out or they could, you know, but they're not. So that's why I'm getting Eight of Swords energy for, from that card, okay? Um, I'm seeing a, a reunion for some of you, some sort of reunion here, okay? Maybe partic maybe specifically for the feminine energies because Queen of Keys is here, okay? And um, I know y'all cannot see it. I'm not even going to try to point it out. But way over here somewhere in the distance, the Queen of Keys is looking out over the horizon. And the king I'll show y'all the card, though, the King of Keys card. But if it comes out, if not, I'll show it to you. But over here in the distance, the King of Keys, the King is coming home, like on his way home from like, a battle or, I don't know, an arcade man on their whole home from work, on their way from somewhere. There's a homecoming, and she's looking out, watching him ride up, waiting on him to come home, okay? Um, so some of you guys can re be resisting a calling or be resisting a union here. And I'm getting, I don't know, from this up in the air, I'm getting left behind. Some of you could be feeling left behind or something like that. Okay, let me see. Yeah, but I definitely feel like the divine, somebody here, your guardian angels, your spirit, um, the divine is trying to get your attention, okay? But, I mean, the boy, the, whoever, they're so distracted by what's going on. I mean, and the window is literally open. Like, they're just basically ignoring this knock at the door <laughs> at this point. Okay, because I mean the windows open and there's a knock at the door, but it's like you don't see it or you don't hear it or you don't recognize it or you just don't or you're just ignoring it. I don't know. Okay. Um, yeah, because I caught in the ruins here. I feel like, yeah, I feel like you're just so caught up in whatever it is that you have going on. Some of you are very stuck stagnant. Somebody, this could be a calling for an awakening for some of you because this trapped energy like I said, again, very eight of swords, very nine of swords, okay? So you could be trapped in your own uh, despair, in your own anxiety, in your own whatever, okay? And it's like you are so caught up in what is going on around you as far as like you're so in your head or and you feel so trapped in your head that you don't even recognize the things that's happening. Like some of you could be seeing 
the number 1010, all right? Some of you could be seeing different angel numbers. You could be seeing like eights and ones, like 111, 666, 888, um, 444, whatever it is, okay? Some of you could be seeing repetitive numbers. It could even be um, to the a tone of like 1010, 1111, 45, 45, 40, you know, whatever, okay? Some of you have been seeing that. And probably not paying any attention to it whatsoever. Like, I feel like the, the divine has been knocking at your consciousness for you to wake up at your unconsciousness. <laughs> for you to wake up and you are just so trapped in yourself, so wrapped up in whatever it is that has you feeling stuck that you just do not see it. Okay? But I do, I mean, it's something coming in here. Just like this Queen of Keys is sitting here waiting on... This king to return, something is trying to come to you. There could be a reunion. I don't know. But something is trying to get to you. The divine, your guardian angels, some some type of message. Okay? Some type, thank you, spirit. Message. Some type of message is trying to reach you and get your attention. All right? 11-11 right now as I say that. Yeah. But you're so up in the air. That you don't even know. And y'all, you see, the people are standing down there and the balloon is floating away. So it's like, damn, if you don't heed the call or whatever, then the opportunity is going to bypass you. You're going to be standing there. I'm getting very Noah's Ark vibe from this. I'm not even going to lie. I'm getting like, <laughs> Noah, like, told the people what was going on. They they did not heed the call. So now they missed their ride. And now they're standing there watching and waiting. Like, that's what I'm getting from that. So... I don't know. Let's see what else comes out here for you guys. This lightning bolt here, some of you could be... Wow. Yeah, I have another deck, um, another oracle deck that has a card similar to this, and it's called Storms, and it's same colors and everything. So some of you, again, like I said, that's could, that could be why you're in, your, in this trapped energy, or why you don't recognize the signs of you know, um, spirit trying to shake you awake, a spirit knocking at your unconsciousness, trying to make you conscious because you're, you're going through this, but I literally feel like something is going to happen. That's going to jolt you like this lightning is going to strike you like crazy or either something did happen. And for some of you, something already happened like this. Something hit you very, very hard. Something Something struck you. Something happened. Okay. And I'm getting tower moment. Cause a tower. Cause some destruction. Cause a downfall. Cause you to feel caught up or cause you to be trapped in your head. Dark night of the soul. Some of you are going through a dark night of the soul right now. Okay. And that may be why. And you, you probably don't even know it. You probably don't even know it. And that's why you don't see or hear or feel, you know, this call. Yeah. Okay, for some of you, I feel like you could be very in your head about this Queen of Keys, all right, about a situation. Like I said, there could be a reunion on the horizon or some of you want a reunion with someone, okay, but I'm feeling like this up in the air, it's like you're waiting, like, almost like anything is possible type thing, like, What's going on up there? What's in the basket? Like, if y'all see a hot air balloon float past you in real life, right? You're going to wonder, like, dang, I wonder who's in that and what's going on with that and blah, 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 whatever, right? But, and I feel like 1414 right now, you guys might want to look at that, um, that uh, angel number. So, yeah, some of you are looking at a situation. You're trapped in your head. You don't see this call because you're trapped in your head about... Um, wondering about a situation that you really have no control over, something that you cannot change, something that you have no control over, but you're stuck in your head about it and you could be missing out on important things or important information in your life right now, 444, okay, 1444, 444, as I look at the clock on the right track, but um, yeah, some of you could be missing out on 
you're missing something because you are so focused on something else. You're, you're focused on things that you have no control over, something that is hidden from you at the moment or unknown to you. And But meanwhile, there's something that really needs your attention and you don't see it, okay? 15-15. So yeah, like with this lightning bolt also, it does represent an ending, like something coming to an end. This could be like a something like a relationship. This could be a physical, like actual death. Okay, it doesn't have to be. That has you trapped in your head. Something ended here. Like I said, there was storm, there was chaos, and something ended. Um, but in order to, you know, rebuild something else, which as is this number 10 energy right here with the light of the world. Okay. Goodness, I don't know why. I'm gonna take these from the bottom. <sighs> Six. All right, let's see what this light of the world is here for you guys. Why is the light of the world here? Why is the light of the world here for the All right, what is the light of the world here for the collector? Light of the world here for the collector, please. Mm, 18 and 11. Wow, the Ark of the Covenant. Okay, if some of you are, um, like I said, dealing with a, have dealt with a loss or something like that. Specifically for some of you, this is not for everybody, but if some of you have dealt with a personal loss, like a um, an actual physical death, okay, uh, some of you could be getting, there could be a legal, some legal situations, there could be some like, um, uh, shoot, what do you call it? Like a will or something. Thank you, Spirit. I'm getting a will, okay? There could be like a will, there could be some papers to sign or something like that. Yeah, and this... Wow, this almost looks like a coffin in the background right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it almost looks like a coffin in the background. So maybe that's what somebody is coming to you to um, see. Maybe they're knocking on your door. That could be uh, like the police, like a, a constable or something like that. Not, what's a constable? I don't even know what a constable is, guys. Um, <laughs> but that's what I got. But there could be somebody knocking on your door to deliver you some sort of information here, okay? Um, yeah, look, you have the oh, Akashic Library. Uh, this card also talks about, uh, like healing. You see that these people are out in the field. Y'all know when, sometimes when people want to go on like a spiritual journey or something like that, they'll go out and they'll like go out into nature and camp for a weekend or they'll you know whatever go to some type of retreat or something like that so this card also talks about that talks about healing um talk, talks about dealing with your yeah 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 okay thank you spirit because i said some of you were resisting the awakening so some of you could be going through some sort of karma here okay and are paying your karmic debt here okay and that's why the divine is knocking at your door trying to wake you up saying, hey, you need to deal with this right now. But some of you don't want to really um, deal with it. Could not really, yeah, want to deal with it. But there's a message for you. Like there's something in your healing that you need to, um, or something in you that you need to heal because... There's a hold on, guys. Sorry. Yeah, because some of you guys could have to move to could have to deal with your karma, right? In order for you to access your akashic library, in order for you to access like your past lives, in order for you to access your higher. Why am I hearing higher learning? Yeah, in order for you to to have this higher learning and this at this um abundance of knowledge and things like that you need to act you need to heal yeah and on the top of the deck you have the uh five of forces here the summer winter summertime so summertime could be very um relevant very significant for some of you maybe your maybe this healing takes place in the summertime for some of you guys okay 
Um, it's the five of four, six, so I'm, I'm here in May, maybe May, okay? Or maybe in like five months, okay? Your healing's gonna start. I'm getting very summer, springtime here with the, um, with the muse. This looks very springtime. You guys can have some new inspiration coming in. Just, I'm hearing a burst of inspiration, a burst of, um, like epiphanies and oh, an awakening you guys are having an awakening basically and you've been trying to fight it but this is you're going to be doing a lot of reflection here yeah you guys are going to be reflecting because that's what an awakening is working on your past your childhood traumas your triggers all of that stuff a lot of reflection okay probably a lot of crying there's a lot of water here a lot of emotions here with the with the water and the moon here so some of you guys could already be going through this doesn't have to be maybe it's going to start for you in summertime or maybe it's going to end for you in summertime but some of you there are lots of emotions here very very emotions lots of back and forth here with yourself like it, 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 uh, eternally okay internally not eternally sorry internally okay why is caught in the wow the karmic trench. Didn't I say somebody was playing their karmic deck? The karmic trench. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all done dug, dug the trench, dug your hole, and now you got to lay in it, or or either you're reaping what you sow. Karma. Yeah, some of y'all got to deal with that, and some of y'all don't want to deal with your karma. What's part of the rules here for the collective spirit? What is caught in the wounds here? Archangel Michael. 2202 on the clock. I feel like there's going to be a lot of angel numbers in this reading. But you have the Archangel Michael here, okay? Michael is calling you to... Um, Oh, shit. It's to uh, have courage, okay? It's called, um, Michael is causing, calling you, sorry, to have uh, strength, to have courage, to be trusting, and to deal with your, with your stuff, okay? Like, basically... Like, you have to take action... And you have the strength to do so. Even though you may feel like you don't. Even though you may feel caught in the ruins or caught in the darkness or caught in this dark night of the soul. You don't have to stay trapped in that energy, okay? I know a lot of people don't want to deal with their issues, with their karma. And with their, it's hard. It's hard to take a look at yourself in the mirror and realize that, hey, maybe I'm the problem. It's hard. But some of you, we all, well not we all, but... Going through the, you know, the spiritual awakening and all that kind of stuff. That's what it's about. Everybody has karmic debt. Everyone. Sooner or later, it gets paid. 2323 23 on the timer here, okay? When I call these angel numbers out, they probably, I mean, y'all Google them. Y'all have to. But look them up because they could be very significant to you, okay? They give you a lot of information, all right? Um, you have the four keys here on the bottom of the deck, clearing the way. Okay, like, um, I feel like this is why Archangel Michael is here, probably to clear the way to get you out of these ruins here, to clear the path, to show you the path, to clear you the path, to give you the strength to move forward here, because this is your destiny right here. This is your goal, whatever this is for you, you know, you can get there. You just have to clear the path. You have to be willing to do the work, and it's hard work to clear a path. That's a big old tree that fell right there. Okay, that's some hard work. It's gonna take. It's gonna be hard work. It's not gonna be easy. You can't just. It's not a log that you can just roll out the way. It's not gonna be easy. And yeah, this is what some of you guys are afraid of: the unknown path. The path is unknown. You don't know what's next. Okay, and you could be afraid of that. But Michael is here to give you the strength and the courage to clear the path and deal with your issues and to move on. Yeah, put you on the right track. Mm hmm. Because you guys have been going through a back and forth, like I said earlier, and your this could be in your mind, this could be literally with somebody else, with other people in your life. Uh, War of the Roses, a back and forth, okay? 
and okay the five you have the um summertime here again for some of you guys the summertime could be very significant for some of you okay so pay attention to that particularly may doesn't have to be but maybe particularly around may all right yeah, I see. you guys are definitely going on a journey. There's definitely an awakening here. Look at the Queen of Forces here, okay? <clears throat> 25, 25 on the clock. For some, this this uh, Queen of Forces is like the um, the Justice card, okay? Bringing balance into your life, lightness and darkness and all this stuff. This could literally be a woman. I mean, it's a woman in the book and all of that stuff and in the reading, but it could be whatever feminine masculine energy. This could be a person who's coming in your life here to bring you some balance. Okay? This could be the path that you guys are on your way to. This could be the the reason that you're going through this. And like I just did a reading. So if some of you are Leos, maybe you listen to the Leo reading because I did I don't know if I posted it right now at the time of this, but if I haven't, then look out for it. Um, if I have, I'll try to put a, remember to put a link in the description. But, um, yeah, I just did a Leo reading that was basically, like, kind of the same thing. Kind of like they were going, they're going through a dark night of the soul. They're going through an awakening. Something happened that triggered them, that triggered their awakening. There was a breakup. There was some sort of death. Um or something ended some sort of loss or whatever okay that triggered them into this awakening and it's like as soon as you not as soon but when you are triggered by spiritual awakening when you heed the call when you answer the door and you deal with your karma you deal with your your dark night of the soul you deal with your demons you deal with your triggers you work on your um you heal from your childhood traumas you do shadow work or you meditate or you do whatever it is that you do during your spiritual awakening it's not the same for everyone okay but whatever healing process that you take and this happens for most people whether you are whether you think you're on the path to find true love or find a soulmate or not that could be the last thing on your mind 27 27 as i look at the clock yes i am going to call out angel numbers because this is an akashic reading i mean <laughs> why wouldn't i these are messages literally from the Ascended Masters and your spirit guides, okay? But, yeah, like, as soon as you work through that, right, that's why this Queen of Keys is here, I feel like. I don't know. But this Queen of Forces here is definitely, is a, is a strong woman. This is karma coming into balance. So that means that you guys have been doing something right. And karma is coming into balance, and then you guys are going to be rewarded. This represents a strong woman a um passionate woman again i mean take it how it resonates it doesn't have to be a woman it could be a man for you you know switch the energies as you as you need to but it's like this she brings like about peace and calmness and stability like could be a libra very um very justice energy with this card okay um like, this is, a, like, a new love interest. It could be somebody new. It could be um, somebody from your past. It could be somebody new. I don't know. But very, very supportive person. Very, 